guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kian and you are watching Kian by Design. And today I'm doing another thrifting video. I know it has been a while since I did a thrifting video, um, especially at the peak of the COVID pandemic. But California just reported its lowest COVID positivity rate since the pandemic began. So I figure now is probably a safe time to do it. I will still be taking all the necessary precautions. I'm going to be wearing my mask. I'm going to be distancing myself from other people. I have hand sanitizer in my bag, sanitizing anything that I purchased when I bring it home. So as we know, fall is among us. And fall is a really beautiful season for decor. I love the colors, the textures. So I'm hoping to thrift some fall decor. So I'm hoping to thrift some fall decor today, as well as maybe find some pieces to flip for a future thrift flip video. I don't know, let's see what we find. <laughs> So I found this basket and it looks really nice. It's $7.99, but I really think that especially for fall, this would be really nice to display like fruit, maybe as like a centerpiece or something. I don't think I'm gonna pick this up, but definitely a tip um, if you happen to be out and about and see something like this. This floral table runner is so pretty. It's personally not the style of like my dining area or anything, but I think this would be really cool if you turned it into like a wall tapestry, like you put a dowel on the top. I think $9.99 is a little pricey so I think I'm gonna pass on this today but definitely a cute find. <laughs> glass is another really cute fall trend. I found this vase here. You can see it's got like these bubbles inside of it. It's a really nice texture. The color is really nice and warm but not too in your face. This would be a great like fall piece. These three candle holders look so nice. There's clearly like still some candle wax on them but I think if you cleaned that off and maybe gave them like a fresh coat of spray paint these would be a really nice set. Now they are $7.99 a piece. That's nearly $25 for the whole set. So I'm going to pass today, but uh, in another life. This is definitely another cute fall type basket. It's a really warm wicker. It's got a really unique shape, so it's kind of modern looking. It's got these ribbons on top of it that you could cut off, but I think this is really cute. Check out these really cool shaped wall shelves. I love the like intricate shape of them. They are $4.99 a piece and red tags are 25% off this week. So it would just be a little over $10 for all three. <laughs> with that piece right there. And it's only $2.99. This fall themed napkin holder is really cute. It looks very handmade. I love the colors on it and how they incorporate the cooler tones. If this was your taste, this would be really cute for fall. <laughs> even be fall without a cornucopia? I don't think so. <laughs> so I am done with thrifting for today. I've got a pretty hefty haul. I can't wait to show you guys all of it once I get home. And on this ride home, I'm gonna let you guys in on an interesting little anecdote about myself. I am notorious, like no matter what, I will always miss traffic lights by seconds. It's gotten to the point where I'm not even surprised by it anymore. I always will be pulling up to a light as it's green, and just as I'm like close enough where I could maybe make it, the light changes and I'm stuck. I'm gonna see if I can catch it the next time it happens because it happens to me all the time. Like I'm convinced that I'm cursed to hit every single light possible on any route. So let's see what happens. Here we go, get ready, approaching the light. And what do you know? It's changing right before I get to cross. Is this gonna be another one? There we go, that's two. 
telling you, it's like clockwork. So I just got home and you guys have now seen the experiment in action. I hit a total of three lights that I missed by seconds. There was a third one that I didn't catch on camera. But anyways, now that I'm home and I've run that experiment to make sure that I'm not crazy, let's go review this haul. All right, so I'm back home. I am filming this in my bedroom because my boyfriend Sam is actually taking a Zoom class in the living room right now. And speaking of this bedroom, I promise a room transformation is still coming. But for now, this room is just gonna be the backdrop for this haul. So let's see what we got today. So I'm gonna start off with the clothing items that I got. I found this mustard yellow and navy t-shirt and I thought it was really nice. With fall being right around the corner, mustard is a really nice fall color to start incorporating to your outfits. And it was actually my size. If you guys don't know me, stripes are a big part of my wardrobe. I didn't notice it until recently, but I do own a lot of striped shirts. But now that I'm aware of it, at least I know I'm consistent, right? So that's the first one. Now this next clothing item, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a petite little boy, so I got this from the children's section. Now I recognize my privilege that I'm able to fit in clothing from the adults as well as the children's section, but sometimes the clothes in the kids section actually fit me better than the adult clothes. But I found this shirt. I love it. It's just so monochromatic, but with little pops of color here and there. I love things that have like a neutral base, but then use color as an accent. This is very my style, especially for work. I'm always looking for some really nice, unique button ups to wear. And I actually like to coordinate my face mask with my outfits and I think I have the perfect face mask to go with this shirt. It's actually a Volcom shirt. I'm not a fan of like wearing shirts with logos or brands on them so I'll probably take like a seam ripper or something and take off this little Volcom patch and then just have this fun button-up shirt that I can wear to work. So now that we are through with the clothing it is time to move on to the decor. I'm gonna start first with this really interesting piece that I found and it is this log that's coming out of a wooden base. It's so unique looking and like not something I've ever seen before. I picked it up thinking that I could do a rift flip with it. The only thing is I don't know what I would do with it. So if you guys have any suggestions for what I should flip this piece into, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm stumped. Get it? Stumped. It's a tree branch. I'm funny. But yeah, let me know what you guys would do with this piece down in the comments below. Now I was hoping to find something just like this next piece and I happened to find it today. It's this glass vase. I really love the unique shape of it. It's very modern looking. I have a couple of ideas for this. Like I think this would look really nice as like a centerpiece on a table, maybe with like a candle inside with some greenery surrounding it and make a nice fall tablescape out of it. Now I saw this piece and grabbed it because I thought it would look great in this bedroom. This twisted ceramic piece. There's like some flecks of texture in the white section, some cracking texture in the blue areas. I feel like I might be having second thoughts about it just because it's not necessarily my style. I think I may have seen the colors and sort of like thought, oh, bedroom, because that's sort of the colors we have going on in here. Maybe I'll keep it. And if I don't, I'll maybe end up selling it or donating it back to Goodwill. But until I decide, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Let me know what you guys think. Now this next piece of decor is very small, but I picked it up for all the wrong reasons. It is this terracotta sculpture of a Washington Nationals player. I don't know who it is. On the back it says Harper and number 34, but I really just picked it up because I thought, what a handsome statue. I've always really liked the idea of like a bust and especially one of a handsome man because if you followed me for long enough, you know that I have a type and it's pretty much this person right here. So I could do a couple things with this. I might paint it a different color. I might see if there's a way that I can sand down the Washington Nationals logo because I'm obviously not a sports fan. I just, I like boys. A lot. So I'll be turning Mr. Harper here probably into a nice little bust to display on a bookshelf or a mantle. Not really fall oriented, but definitely me oriented. This is the last of the fall decor that I picked up. I found this pumpkin and I thought it looked really nice. It just doesn't look as fake as a lot of faux pumpkins do. I like the color of it, the shape of the stem, the shape of the pumpkin itself. I could keep this as is. I might end up painting it with like a textured paint and I thought it might look really cute with this green velvet pumpkin I got at Dollar Tree. Definitely very my aesthetic and I think this will look even nicer with like a nice paint job. But to put it simply, I thought this pumpkin was gorgeous. I would promise that that's the last pun that I would make in this video, but I really can't guarantee that. Now, I've been wanting a really nice looking tabletop game to have for my house. One that's really sleek and refined looking. So when I found this wooden one at the thrift store, I was immediately inspired. It's got this raw unfinished wood and it's obviously Valentine's Day themed, but I think I plan to like repaint this, give it a nice coat of stain and maybe switch out these hearts for some O's just to make it a little more my style. And it needs some fixing like along the edge here, but that's nothing that like some wood glue and a staple gun can't fix. I've got big plans for this guy. So be on the lookout for that thrift 
flip video. We are down to our last couple pieces. The second to last pieces are these bookends. Now these are like solid metal bookends. Very minimalist and sleek, but very durable. I've been looking for bookends for a long time, but I've struggled to find ones that I like. These are really simple and I love the geometry and the minimalism. And I don't even need to touch these guys up or repaint them. They just already go with my decor. And I think these will look really nice on the bookshelf that I have in my living room. We have books on it, but they sort of keep toppling over at the moment. And I think adding something like these bookends will give them support while also looking really stylish. Now this very last piece you guys saw me show off in the vlog and it was a piece that I felt absolutely in love with and it's this golden geometric sculpture. It's got this warm wood base and the sculpture part of it has like a tarnished quality about it. Now I attempted to make something like this by following a tutorial by one of my favorite YouTubers, Drew Scott from Lone Fox. It was made entirely out of dollar store materials and it was so pretty. This is the piece that I made and as you can see it's very similar to this one. However, the other day when I was moving my room around, I broke it. And honestly, it was just attached there with hot glue, but now that it's like come apart, you can see where the paint was and I wanna make sure that it's gonna be seamless and then I'm worried that I have to repaint it again. I'm just gonna call this a loss and I feel like this one is going to take its place. I had my DIY piece styled up on my dresser, so I feel like this will perfectly fill in that space and last a lot longer. So I did the math. <laughs> So I did the math and this entire thrift store haul came out to $33.41. And I think that's a pretty good price for a haul like this. I got a lot of pieces that are beautiful just as they are and others that I plan to upcycle. So make sure to stay tuned for those thrift flip videos in the future. That's really hard to say. Thrift flip, thrift flip, thrift flip, thrift flip. <laughs> thrift flip. That one will get you tongue twisted. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below what you think I should flip this piece into. I'd really like to see your suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and ring the notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a video. But that about does it for today. This has been Kian by Design, and I'll see you next time. Bye!